Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are excited to showcase a powerful project management tool built using Retool. If you are looking for a solution to streamline your project workflows, enhance team collaborations, and boost productivity, you are in the right place. In this demo, we'll take you through the key features and functionalities of our custom-built project management software. You will see how easy it is to track tasks, manage resources, and monitor project progress all in one place. Whether you are a project manager, team leader, or a part of a busy team, this tool is designed to adapt to your unique needs and help you stay on top of your projects. So let's dive in and explore how this solution can transform the way you manage your work. So as you can see, on the very first, we have the dashboard of our project. The dashboard indicates different kinds of KPIs. Uh, as you can see, we have a um, bar chart here and we have a pie chart as well. The bar chart basically integrates the different kinds of statuses against different projects. So we have set uh, the projects as in progress state, pause state, the completed state, and the not started state. We can also see a pie chart which indicates different kinds of statuses again, different projects. Moving forward, we have the details against the projects which are created against different days, weeks, months, and the year. Along with the details of the projects, we have the details of the tasks which are being created against different days, against uh, weeks, the months, and the years. As we scroll down, we have the different statuses against different projects. As you can see, we can see the list of the not started projects, the in progress projects, the paused projects, and the completed projects. So basically, you can have a glance at once at, at where, how your projects are going, how your, how, how your tasks are going, etc. Moving forward, we have uh, in the menu panel, we have the project management option and the project management option is further categorized into projects, sprints, clients and client credentials. If we look into the projects option, you can see the list of the projects you have created in your system and the list is filtered as per the statuses of the projects. You can see all of the projects in one place. You can see the in-progress projects, the paused projects, and the completed projects. So the list of the projects is, has different fields, and we can see that the list of the projects is ha having ID, project titles, the descriptions, the client notes, project links, project status, the project type, the category, and lots of the details a project can have. We can also add a new project by just simply clicking on the add project button and we'll just have a form pop up. We can, the user can simply fill in the form and submit it and a new project will be created. Further, we have the sprints. As you can see, we can design different sprints uh, against different projects. Let's say that we in a project we have three modules which are supposed to be clean, completed in one sprint. We can create a sprint against that module and track it according to our project needs. The users can also add new sprints by just simply clicking on the add sprint button and fill out the sprint form and just simply submit it. We can also filter out um, the sprints as per their names and their IDs. We can also download the CSV files of our list of the sprints. Moving forward, we have the clients option. Here we can see the list of the clients we have for different projects. As you can see, we have the IDs, the names, the email, the phone numbers, the Skype IDs, the company name, the notes, and all of the details which are required for the clients to be added. We can also add new clients by just simply clicking on the, clicking on the add client button. We'll have this form prompt up and the user will simply fill in the form and the submit the button. We can also download the CSV files of our clients. Moving forward, we have the client credentials. The client credentials basically indicates the credentials which are supposed to be added in the list against different projects of different clients. We can just simply have the IDs of the projects, the tool name in which the project is being built, the descriptions of the projects if needed, the API keys which are added, the username and the password for the client to log into the system for any test, any test purposes, the client name to whom the project is associated, 
the website link and the date on which the project is created. We can also filter out the project information by the IDs. We can also download the CSV files of the projects. We can also add the credentials. If we want to add more credentials against different projects, we'll simply click uh, on the add credentials button and the user will have to fill in the add credentials form and that's then simply click on the submit button. On next, we have the task management option, which is further categorized into tasks. We'll just simply click on it and the tasks will have all the list of the tasks which are created against different uh, projects and different uh, resources. We can also have uh, the list of the tasks filtered as per our needs. Uh, if a user wants to stay the tasks which are not started yet, the user will simply click on the not started button. We have the list of the in progress tasks, the paused starts uh, tasks and the completed tasks as well. Uh, if the user want to add a new task, the user will simply click on the add task button and fill out the task information form and just simply click on the submit button to submit any task. Moving forward, we have the team members option. The team members basically indicates the members which are being added uh, in the project management uh, software. These team members are further used when, um, whenever a task is created and we, and we want to assign a task to a, sim a specific team member, then we can just simply do that. The user can simply add a new member by just simply clicking on the add member button and fill out the specific information form of the member and just simply click on the submit button to submit the information of the different members. Moving forward, we have the appointment option. Uh, the appointment option basically indicates uh, that we can schedule appointments for different clients. Let's say that a project has been created and is being completed as well. And we can want to, and the user want to schedule an appointment against that project uh, for a specific demo. Then we will just simply add the participant name, the email to whom the project or the appointment has to be sent the phone number, the status and the start and end time of the appointment and then to the simply schedule an appointment and when we add the appointment, the appointment will be simply sent to the desired person. So this is it. Thanks for watching our demo of the project management software built in Retool. We hope you found it insightful and can see the potential for how it can streamline your projects and enhance your productivity. Remember, this is just a glimpse of what our software can do. Every team and project is unique, and that's why we offer customizations to fit your specific needs, whether it's adding new features, integrating with your existing systems, or tailoring the interface to match your workflow, we have got you covered. If you're interested in learning more or want to discuss how we can tailor this solution to your requirements, feel free to reach out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates and demos. Thank you for your time and we look forward to helping you achieve your project management goals.